Hello, I'm Maria Zuber, MIT's Vice President for Research, and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to share a few thoughts with you in connection with this year's Solve Challenge Finals. As the person President Reif has charged with leading MIT's response to the climate crisis, I can say with confidence that no set of challenges are more in need of solutions than those related to climate change. Earlier this month, with the world still in the grips of the COVID pandemic, more than 200 health journals from around the world took the unprecedented step of publishing a joint editorial stating that climate change is the greatest threat to global public health. As terrible, disruptive, and costly as COVID has been, the harms that a changing climate will bring about promise to be far worse. And of course, there will be no vaccine for climate change. Researchers throughout MIT have been working on climate issues for decades. In the last several years, our efforts have intensified. In 2015, just before the Paris Climate Conference, we issued our first Plan for Action on Climate Change. This past May, we released an updated plan that we call Fast Forward. Fast Forward is based on a strategy for the world to overcome climate change. Succeeding at this, quite possibly the challenge of the century, requires that humanity do three fundamental things. First, to go as fast as we can, as far as we can, to reduce emissions with the tools that we have now. Second, to invest a suite of new tools for both reducing emissions and adapting to a changing climate because we don't yet have all the tools we need. And third, train and empower the next generation, the young people who will take the baton and continue the race to solve the problem. Stopping climate change and adapting successfully to the changes that are already under, underway are really hard problems. But solving really hard problems is what we do at MIT. Solving really hard problems is a big part of what defines MIT. One example is our Climate Grand Challenges Program, one of the flagship efforts of Fast Forward. Earlier this month, more than two dozen teams comprised of more than 180 MIT faculty members and senior researchers submitted white papers in response to an invitation issued earlier this year. These teams are exploring such important matters, such as finding carbon-free alternatives to fossil fuels, developing technologies to capture carbon so it doesn't build up in Earth's atmosphere, and devising public policies that can speed the uptake of new technologies, and many more. We are confident that MIT researchers can make a major contribution to addressing the world's climate crisis. But the problems are too big, too varied for any one institution to tackle them alone. This is why I'm such a big fan of SOLVE, which reaches out to problem solvers and entrepreneurs from around the world to find people with the best ideas for solving important problems and supporting their work to make their ideas a reality. This year's Resilient Ecosystem Solve Challenge could not be more timely or important. It seems that not a week goes by when we don't see intense heat waves, massive wildfires, or historically destructive and impactful storms. Resiliency and adaptation are critical because even if our mitigation efforts succeed brilliantly and quickly, the greenhouse gases humanity has already released into the atmosphere are going to be having impacts for decades, if not centuries to come. Earlier this summer, the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change issued a new report that stressed the urgency of decarbonizing the world's energy system by 2050. That's 29 years from now. 29 years might seem like a long way off, but it's not. We've got a lot to do and not a lot of time. If one thing makes me optimistic that we'll meet this challenge, 
It's seeing so many people contributing their ideas, talents, and time to tackling the climate crisis. People like this year's solvers. I wanna thank all of you for being part of this challenge. Keep doing what you're doing. It's now my distinct pleasure to introduce our newest solve cohort, the 2021 Resilient Ecosystem Solve Class. Congratulations teams.